Hi friends, so um, apparently the uh, recording didn't work yesterday as well as the internet nightmare tech day. Um, so here's a little summary of what the sermon was about. We were looking at the gift of administration. Um, that's a word that comes from one translation of the list in two Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 28. It's also known as the gift of guidance or governance. And uh, we use the story from Acts uh, chapter 11, I believe it was, where Barnabas was sent by the apostles in Jerusalem to check out what was going on in the church planted into Antioch, where people were coming to faith. And Barnabas used his gifts of administration or guidance or governance uh, to help with the church there. Now, what this gift is all about is uh, seeing some of how a project can work itself out. So leadership is, we're going to talk more about that in a few weeks time. Leadership is about giving the vision and setting the direction. The gift of administration and guidance is about working out how to get there step by step, bit by bit. It's not just about emails and spreadsheets. They're not in the Bible, um, but it's not just about that stuff. It's about working. Those people who have the gift of either naturally or supernaturally in the moment are able to see, ah, oh, this is how we should resolve that. For example, Joseph in the Old Testament had this gift. So he was able to use it in Potiphar's house. He was able to use it in the prison. He was then able to use it running the country under Pharaoh. And the, uh, the Daniel in the Old Testament as well, using this gift to help serve um, an administration uh, there in the Babylonian Empire. Uh, we see this gift incredibly in people like Ags, for example, uh, and Beth, others who are able to see what needs to be done and step by step work out what needs to happen for those things to be achieved. I really want to encourage those of you who are feeling like, well, I feel like I might have that gift naturally to step into perhaps a role where you might be able to serve within church. We would love um, that. And I particularly honoured those who work within our church community to serve on the PCC, the Church Council. We talked a bit about how the Church of England works. We've got the Parish Church Council, then Deanery Synod, then Diocesan Synod, then General Synod, and the kinds of things that ah, I don't particularly like very much, but thank God for people who do. So I called out, but there was loads of people at the cathedral celebrating ordinations. There was people uh, for Festival Manchester. There were people away. So not everybody heard this, but Ta uh, Tanya and Ian, our church wardens, are amazing. They meet with Lizzie and I once a week. They meet with uh, Phil and I and Ags and uh, as the standing committee once a month. And then the PCC, amazing wardens. We celebrate Phil as our treasurer who's stepping down and Tizzy Burnham stepping up into that interim role uh, in the next few months. But also those uh, PCC members. Um, so uh, the, I mentioned Ian and Tanya and Phil and Ags already, but uh, Alice and Jacob and Gordon and Simon and Effie and Abby and Sarah and Sarah, Andreas and Shem. We are so grateful for all that you do. If you feel like you have the gift of administration or guidance or governance, love to get in touch with you, uh, you. Love for you to get in touch with me. Let me know how it is that you feel you might be able to serve. And if you feel like you are needing that gift right now because you're going through something that needs that step-by-step -step approach praying for you that you would have that god-given gift to be able to use all that you have in the service of his kingdom